What comes with this battery powered <clears throat> wireless camera is the bracket, the Wi-Fi unit itself, a screwdriver to undo the screws at the back uh, where you can insert the batteries. Um, you get an option to include the batteries or not. So it's up to you whether you already have batteries or whether you'd like to um, have the batteries sent to you uh, and a manual. The manual will show you step by step how to set this wireless camera up to your Wi-Fi unit so it's all in sync and be able to see the camera on your phone. This camera takes two um, of the 18650 batteries um, it is motion detection uh, which you can receive text to your phone once it detects um, any movement uh, obviously you can have this outside so it is waterproof at the bottom of the camera you can plug in the micro USB charger lead where you can charge the batteries you have an on and off switch and you have a reset button and you can also insert an SD card. To access where you put the batteries in, you just need to remove the back cover, undo the two screws, lift the plate down, and you can insert the batteries that come with or um, not include if you have your own. You're looking for the 18650 uh, lithium batteries, uh, they're rechargeable, so you can have yourself a uh, um, some extras and charge them up and swap them over or you can plug in and just charge um, from the micro USB at the bottom of the camera. This uh, camera has a two-way audio um, so you can hear sound and you can also speak. Um, this camera is completely wireless so you don't need any wires whatsoever. The batteries give you the power, uh, the signals wireless. So this is quite a straightforward setup. Um, easy to put up, you don't have to be drilling any holes to install any network cable or any power cables. This camera also has infrared, so it has night vision. I'll show you a bit later on where I cover up the night sensor um, and it will then trigger the infrared so you'll see the picture would go black and white. Once you've included the batteries, just put the cover back on <clears throat> and do up the screws and reattach the rubber plug at the bottom of the camera and then screw onto the bracket. You'll notice once the batteries have been put in the back and you've turned the camera on, there will be a red light flashing on the front. As you can see, you can put this camera into many different 
angles and positions uh, with this style bracket. You can just turn it and tighten it or turn it to loosen. Now to set up the camera, it does say everything in the instructions or you can follow this video and I'll show you how to do it. You hover your camera over the barcode, it will then um, pull down a little drop down, you can click on that and it will take you straight to the app on your phone, you can then install. Click on sign up, enter your email address and create a password. Once the battery's in, it's powered up, the red light will be flashing and you can press next. From the choice of networks, click on 2C+, then go back onto the app and press next. Then on this part, you pick the router that you have, um, which you want it to connect to, and enter the password for your router. Then it will start loading. You'll then you'll notice that the light will change from red to flashing blue. This is them syncing up. This is how your camera will then appear on the app. You can click on the image and it will show you what the camera can see. You can have this so that you can see the whole screen of the camera. You can see in the top right corner it has the battery life and the Wi-Fi signal. So that way you know if the Wi-Fi signal is strong or not and how much battery you've got left before you need to charge it. Also shows the time and the date in which the recording is taken. You can press the camera symbol which will then take pictures of what you can see. It shows you that the camera is uh, online. Uh, you can record by pressing the uh, like video recording symbol. This is how you can set it up if you want to do that option. Uh, you can save this to the cloud or you can save it to the US micro USB stick that you can insert. Uh, it has a sound symbol on the screen which um, you can press it so that it's got the, the lines showing that the sound's coming out. If you press it, it will go to a cross where you don't hear the sound um, depending on if the camera is around an area that is noisy and whether you want the sound or not. 
I'll also show you how to go into the settings which then you can see whether you want notifications on or whether you don't want the notifications on depending on whether you're in an area where it's going to keep sending you notifications uh, and text messages to let you know that it's um, seen motion detection if it's going to send you lots of messages and it's a bit annoying you can actually turn it set into low or you can turn it off completely and just cl click on the app and check it when you want now I'll go through the settings and show you Here you can see what the notifications look like as they pop up on your phone once it's detected something. This is a micro USB extension cable. If you was to think about leaving a, a wire plugged in um, to keep it powered at all times. What I have is an extra pair of batteries that I keep on charge. So if I need to change in my batteries um, for say the doorbell camera that I use, I just whip it off the wall, change the batteries, put it back on the wall and it's good to go. I don't have to wait to charge it. This is another option you can take. Now you can see I've set the camera up outside if you was to try and keep an eye on a, a car or anything out the front of your house. Um, I will show you the distance from where I am upstairs near the router all the way down, down the stairs and out the front door to show you the sort of distance which the Wi-Fi will travel. This camera is lightweight. Uh, I actually only have one screw in the wall on this one, just to uh, demonstrate. So I don't know how you can put all three screws in. As you can see, you can also turn this to go sideways, um, point downwards, left or right. I'm now gonna show you how to um, see the infrared on the camera, uh, which will put the vision to black and white. So in pitch black or darkness, the red lights will come on that will turn it infrared and you will be able to still see a picture on your phone thanks for watching this video i hope it was helpful to you um, there's lots of battery powered wi-fi units very similar to this 
uh, in the way that you install the batteries. Um, they're outside, they're motion detection. Um, I'm looking to get through um, quite a lot of different types of CCTV cameras to give yourselves uh, a better view on what you prefer, um, how to set them up, what they look like and what's best for you. If you want to click on the link below to see where to get these from, what sort of prices, um, just click on the link below. Thanks.